When Julie Costello showed up on the classic 80s TV sitcom Growing Pains, I really thought that she was the one for Mike Seaver. But after a handful of episodes, the character just disappeared. In this video, I'll share my memories of that show, talk a bit about what happened, and then provide an update on the actress who played Julie Costello, the lovely Julie McCullough. But first, let me introduce myself. Hi folks, my name is Dave Sundstrom, and I like to think of myself as something of a pop culture historian especially when it comes to music, movies, and television. Simply put, I love talking about this stuff. So with that said, let's get rolling. So let me just state for the record that when Growing Pains debuted on ABC in 1985, I was a big fan of the show. I loved the cast. I thought each actor played their part perfectly, and I had already been a big fan of Alan Thicke due to his late night talk show, Thick of the Night, where he seemed to bring on the type of guests that other talk shows wouldn't. Folks like Fee Waybill from The Tubes and Del Bozio from Missing Persons. And when Julie McCullough joined the cast in 1989, well, I thought the casting directors had done it again, just like they would later on when they brought on a young Leonardo DiCaprio for the show's final season. But like I said earlier, Julie's stay on the show was short-lived, just 11 episodes, and then poof, she was gone. So what happened? Well, one could point to this. Yep, Julie was featured in a very popular men's magazine back then. But then again, Julie wasn't a stranger to that sort of thing. A few months later, she would show up on the cover of Inside Sports along with the lovely Christian Alfonso. So what really did happen? Well, truth be told, it's not entirely clear. At the time, there was some speculation that our particular cast member was up in arms when he discovered that Julie had posed for Playboy. There were whispers that he had demanded that the producers let Julie go. But that actor has denied those stories. So this particular rumor may just be that, an unfounded rumor. After Growing Pains, Julie did continue to find work on shows like The Golden Girls, Beverly Hills 90210, Jake and the Fat Man. And then in 1991, she landed a recurring spot on the Fox sitcom Drexel's Class. Unfortunately for Julie, like most of Dabney Coleman's TV efforts, that show was short-lived. In 1993, Julie landed a co-starring role in the syndicated television program Robin's Hoods. Sadly, that show, which also starred Linda Pearl, was not a hit and would only run for a single season. Now, while I am aware that Julie continued to find work both on television and in movies throughout the 90s, I think the next thing that I remember her in was as the villainous Pollution, the television version of Black Scorpion that ran on the Sci-Fi Network. While Julie continued to work as an actress, there came a time in her career where I believe that she realized that she would need to branch out, do different things. And you know, she'd always had a pretty darn good sense of comedic timing. So she tried her hand at stand-up, and wouldn't you know it, she was a natural. These days, you are just as likely to see her live on stage making people laugh as you are to see her on television. And when she has the time, Julie also attends various nostalgia-based conventions like Chiller Theater, where she's able to connect with fans who remember her for her fairly large body of work as a model, actor, and now stand-up comedian. And you know what? I don't believe that Julie has ever said anything publicly to indicate that she regretted her modeling decisions. In fact, around the time that Hugh Hefner passed away, Julie posted this on Facebook where she said, Devastatingly sad. Rest in peace, Hef. Always loved forever loved. Even though she stays fairly busy, Julie also finds time to moderate her very own Facebook page. I was touched by her recent posting about one of my favorite actors, Adam West. You should definitely check it out. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and most importantly, thanks so much for watching.